Good morning, KVC. It's Monday morning coming to you with the word in season. This Monday morning, I pray that your weekend was amazing. Had an awesome family time together and uh, just had a time of making memories and having fun and laughing as families. If you have your Bibles this morning, I'd like for us to look at 1 Thessalonians um, chapter 1. Actually, this week we'll look at 1 Thessalonians and see what Paul's telling to the church at Thessalonica. But uh, three things this morning I just want to bring to your mind and something you can begin to meditate on today and think about. It says in verse 1, Paul, Silas, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God, the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. We always thank God for all of you and continually mention you in our prayers. That's my prayer this morning too, as I continually remember KVC and the faces that come to my mind and the names, lifting them up to the Father, thanking God for each and every one of you, thanking you, thanking God for your life, for your love for him and your service to other people. And Paul says this, we remember you before our God and our Father, your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Three things that was evident about this church, and Paul says this reminds me about you and when I'm praying about you, these three things. And it says your work produced by faith wasn't a works oriented or a works based Christianity, but, but out of their faith, it produced work. Out of their love for God and their heart and life being changed, they produced work. The second thing, your labor prompted by love. Why do we do what we do? Why do we help people? Is it to get something in return? Are we looking for a different angle? Or is our labor prompted by love? Our love for the Father, the love for his word, a love for people, valuing them for just who they are, not what you or I can get out of them or our relationship, but just simply valuing them as a person. And then he says, your endurance inspired by hope. So we have work produced by faith, labor prompted by love, and an endurance inspired by hope. Hope is that confidence of good from God in every circumstance or situation. We have a hope that the world doesn't have during this pandemic. We have a hope that's anchored in Jesus Christ that gives us the strength to follow God and to do what he's called us to do. So today, this morning, and then this week, think about this. Think about how their work was produced by faith. The work that you do this week, is it produced by faith? Is your labor prompted by love and your endurance inspired by hope? Father, we thank you for another week to serve you, to love you, to love people well. As your word says, the greatest commandment is to love you with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind. And the second is likened to that is where we love ourselves as we love our neighbors. So Lord, let us this week, let KVC manifest that love and manifest your goodness and your kindness and your love in everything that we do and say. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be pleasing to you. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen.